Welcome to Firearms of America. Thank you for tuning in. Today, as you guys can see, I'm out here at Shooters in Fort Myers, Florida, about to do the review of another Springfield that has been requested already, actually, several times. I'm very excited to do this review of Springfield Hellcat, but not a regular Hellcat. Hellcat Pro. Check this little thing out. Yes, 3.7 inch barrel, chambered in 9 millimeter, OSP version, which is their uh, up special I don't know, I don't know what it was best basically the MOS version of Springfield meaning that you can put your favorite red dot optic on uh, this little thing with a ready cutout and the most important feature of this gun I think absolutely blows my mind 15 capacity magazine yes in this little 3.7 inch barrel I mean look at the profile of this thing, look how small it is. It's, you can put it appendix carry, you can put it inside the waistband, outside the waistband, over and under the, that whatever. <laughs> However you wanna carry, you can carry this thing. This is how small it is. And uh, my hands are actually looking big for the first time ever <laughs> in my videos because of how small this thing is. With 15 capacity. All right, so very excited to do uh, the review and do some shooting. So uh, let's put some five rounds through it. And uh, as you can see, the magazine is very nicely numbered all the way up to 15, which I love it, great. Very easy uh, to load so far, at least the spring feels very nice and uh, responsive. While I'm doing this, I wanna make sure I let you guys know that another giveaway is coming to Firearms of America and yes, it's going to be again from Terran Tactical. Don't miss that, it is live now. Uh, the link I'll put in the description below, it's uh, getentertowin.com slash FOA for Firearms of America, yes. Now I'm doing the giveaways every month now. Luckily, we were able to uh, make a partnership with Terran Tactical and uh, remarkable, they are a veteran owned business, so by participating in this giveaway, you are supporting a veteran owned business and also your favorite YouTuber, Firearms of America. <laughs> that was overstatement. Okay, so let's do some shooting. As you guys can see, the orange little circle, somebody tried to mess with it and they didn't really do a good job. So let's see if I can do a better job with uh, this Springfield now. 3.7 inch barrel, 9 millimeter. I expect a little bit of a recoil, but uh, let's see. Let's see what this thing can do. Better job, bullseye. No, actually, it's not me. It's the gun. The gun is good. It's it's uh, surprisingly handles recoil really, really good. And uh, I think one of the main reasons why it does such a good job at hand. Well, I can't say why it does a, such a good job. Well, there is there is a few things. First of all, in the guide rod, you can definitely tell. Let me take out the magazine. That the spring in the guide rod assembly is on the tighter side. So it's not as easy to rack, but keep in mind, it's pretty smooth. So overall, there is no, there is no roughness, but it's pretty stiff. So it's a good balance between the, re um, between the spring that handles the recoil well, well, and at the same time, does not restrict a quick racking, quick and smooth racking, but I think the main thing that really, really helps with the recoil management is the grip. I mean, check this out. Look at the stippling. Fantastic stippling, in my opinion. Goes throughout the whole grip. No missing spots anywhere. You also do have this part on the top. And check this little thing out right here. Your little stippled kind of a gas battle going on, which is fantastic. If you have a proper grip, you will definitely appreciate this little indent over here, stippled, add some aggression for a very, very good hold. I mean, I do have pretty small hands, but even with small hands, I have a full, pretty much a full size gun grip on this grip. Okay, let's move on to the uh, 
Mag release, as you can see, very nice, flat area, can't miss it, nicely extended to the back, very easy. And also, as you can see, it's almost like spring-loaded, this magazine. So quick Mag releases, if you are carrying, which I know some people that would never carry it any other way, right? So carrying your full Mag, obviously loaded with gun, one in the chamber, without one in the chamber, and also having one, at least one extra magazine on you, in just in case if you do need to do some quick mag change, you can definitely do that because thanks to this cool mag release. All right, moving further, we got our, uh, it's not really slide release, it's more of a slide stop on the last round, that's really all it is. It does work as a slide release, but obviously a lot of people will tell you it's not recommended to use a slide release because it, messes with, you know, it kind of, every time you do it, it kind of polishes it out and eventually if, you know, if you get to that point, if you own that gun for a long time and shoot it quite a lot, you will get to the point where it doesn't lie back on the last round, which is not a huge deal, but you probably don't want that. Okay, so moving further to the slide, now we have some slide serrations on the back, slide serrations on the front, you probably noticed your uh, 1913 accessory rail, if you want to put a flashlight on, which is a great addition for a concealed carry, having a flashlight on, great addition, in my opinion. You probably noticed the uh, lever for the disassembly. I, I love this disassembly system. It's so easy to disassemble this gun. I mean, no matter how new you are to guns, maintenance become very easy. All you're doing is you're locking the slide back. You don't have to do it, but it's easier to do it this way. Then you're lifting this thing up. Then you're releasing the slide nice and easy until it goes all the way out. You gotta release the trigger and then it comes out. If you don't wanna release the trigger, you don't have to get the slide all the way back like this. But again, I think it's easier to do it this way. Okay, so let's put some five more rounds through this gun. And then we'll talk about the trigger and we'll talk about the sights. Okay, so back to the giveaway. Terran Tactical. Now, uh, last month, this is our second giveaway that we're doing. Last month it was the uh, brand new handgun from Terran Tactical called the Scent Viper. Check out the review I have uh, on this channel. And uh, a very lucky guy, I believe from Georgia, who is an uh, army vet. What was he, army or marines? Anyway, he was definitely the one who is uh, very good with firearms. So, somebody who knows how to handle firearms one so hopefully this time is going to be the case as well uh, but i'm sure if you guys are watching if you guys are interested in these videos the gun reviews you probably are okay so you know what in this time i'll try to make it a little bit more difficult i'll try to hit some of these flappy paddles see if i can do it with this gun okay let's try to do that Not too shabby. Usually I struggle with uh, compact guns on the flappy pedals just because they're, they're a little bit more jumpy, you know, shorter barrel, obviously you have a little bit more recoil, uh, less accuracy as well. Not the case over here with this Hellcat Pro, all right? For pros. Okay, so let's uh, talk about the sights. Now, sights might be a little bit, uh, either you either like them or you don't, okay? Check this out. Very interesting. Now you have this U-shape rear side over here at the back, kind of very similar to Glock, except the Glock, you know, you have that square bar. Here is the U-shape. Personally, I have no problems with these because, I mean, most of the times I do the uh, more of a side alignment rather than concentrating on all of this white green stuff going on. But speaking of green stuff, at the very front, as you guys can see, you have a little bit of a green accent. Now, let me go turn on the light and see if this is night side because... Yes, this is one of those handguns that... Well, the design is a little bit questionable whenever it comes to sights, okay? And I was talking about this uh, in the regular Hellcat review. Basically, the kind of a problem that I'm having against personal, you might be like, nah, I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with that, but the front side is the night side, the rear side is not a night side. 
Okay, I'm not gonna do any arguments for or against that. You decide if you're okay with it or if you're not. Let's move on to the trigger though. The trigger here, I think, is much better than in the regular Hellcat. Now, as you guys can see, you have that little kind of like a safe action thing, pre-trigger going here. But once you go past that, you have very safe, very familiar, about four millimeters of this first stage travel. And then you have about this. Very similar to the second stage of the trigger on the Glock. Very, very similar. And then a crisp break. Extremely similar trigger to a Glock. So if you are, for whatever reason, if you were always carrying Glocks and now you want to transition to something else and you don't want to take time getting used to another trigger, this right here, yeah, yeah. With 15 capacity magazine, I mean, that is just, it's very serious. Let's just say very, very serious competition to everything that Glock has right now because I think this would be uh, comparable to size G48. Yeah, I think it would be like G48, G43X, Glock 43X. I think that would be uh, comparable. Nice and slim, but whenever it comes to capacity, this just blows, blows it out of the water. Okay, so let's do five more rounds, and then we'll try to come up with a more or less. It helps to have a metal mass. <laughs> <laughs> and then we'll try to come up with a more or less reasonable conclusion. There's not a lot of reasonable things on this channel, but whenever it comes to guns, I try to make it as reasonable as possible, all right? Uh, by the way, while I'm done loading the magazine, I also have a new SIG over here. I'm gonna be reviewing it right after, so if you wanna see that review, make sure to subscribe. Okay, so. Wow, look at that. There's a yellow in the center and it's not touched at all. I think I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save it for the SIG review. Yeah. And uh, let's see if I can do five out of five on the flappy pedals. Yeah, flappy pedal. Not a good shot. It's the gun. This gun is good. Well, not this time. <laughs> but it was my mistake, okay? I wasn't concentrating that much. And I haven't been on the range for a week. It's a good excuse. Okay, so back to the gun. Um, a few safety features that I wanted to mention before I let you guys go. Uh, I think very, very good safety features. You have a loaded chamber indicator right up here. It's not really an indicator, it's really just a hole, okay? <laughs> hole in the chamber that allows you to see the round in there. And uh, let me demonstrate. I'm gonna get one round in the chamber. And uh, as you can see right now, black, nothing in the chamber, nothing in the chamber, something in the chamber. I think that's a pretty good. Pretty good safety feature. Um, I do like whenever there's a combination of uh, passive kind of visual safety features and also active, like the manual switch or for example, the safe action system on the trigger. It really comes down to the personal preference, but overall I think it's a very nice balance, okay, of safety, especially for those people that don't like to have the manual safety switch. Okay, so overall I think it's a fantastic, purchase whenever it comes to uh, as a concealed carry I mean I mean think of it concealed carry so easy to conceal this little thing with 15 capacity magazine hard to go wrong with that so thank you very much guys for watching I hope this uh, review was useful like I said if you in case if you missed the giveaway in case if you missed the giveaway, make sure to subscribe because more giveaways will be coming to this channel. And if you want to see the review of this SIG P365, <laughs> I already reviewed plenty of P365 uh, on this channel, but this one is somehow different. So we'll find out how different it is. Thank you very much guys for watching. This is Farms of America. I'll see you guys in the next video.